Welcome, Welcome back to the basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. YouTube. We are in our basement craft realm, which is playable by other by basement Patreon patrons. That's right, Ted. So we're excited to be able to join some of you guys, and uh, one of you has already joined, which is really exciting. Um, but yes, we are going to be getting that going, and it is super cool. This is the spawn point right here, and because the realm is already going, you notice that we are no longer split screen. Peter is just busy working away right behind me. Peter's. Yeah. I'm Peter's playing right on there. my Switch, just looking at my Switch screen right now. Yeah, pretty awesome, and uh, are you building a target, a giant target? Like, if you're going to fall from space, you just land in the middle of this target? Yeah, no, I don't know. I mean, maybe we'll change this into a checkerboard pattern at some point. I don't, I don't know. So sounds good to me, Peter. But, uh, yeah, I just figured our people spawning in would like a spot that's not just the wilderness, but something that uh, welcomes them a little bit. I think that that's 100% right. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of wood here. We're going to see if we can't um, make this spot a little bit more homey before... Oh, jeez, it's getting dark oh, already. Oh, yes, it is indeed. Now, we've, we've been kind of, like, you know, prepping a few things in the world, gathering a few things, making it a little less, like... We don't want you guys to just have to watch the tedium of us kind of setting up some of this stuff. And honestly, some of you guys are going to get to be a part of what's going on here, um, being patrons like you are. But um, the uh, cool thing about this is that now you guys can just see us do some more actual building and creating stuff rather than just like a lot of gathering cobblestone. <laughs> that's... Um, yeah, that's what you missed. <laughs> arguably not, you know, the most fun thing. But yeah, that's all you guys have missed so far is gathering of uh, some cobblestone, setting a couple, like, small farms for, like, they, ha they haven't gotten really, like, big yet. You know, the farms are just... Right. They're the, they're the fledgling farms. But the stuff that you did see was the, uh, like, the exciting stuff that did happen was stuff that you saw. Like, we discovered a couple of... Um, Peter left me alone. Dealy doos. Hi, Peter. Did I? You're way over there. Oh, sorry. Are you dude. ready to head back to the uh, the old village? Go to sleep? Wait, what, already? Well, I mean, it's dark. It's a perfect time to go back. Well, yeah, but we gotta... We're safe. We're lit up. Come what on. Gonna, you grabbed some wood, right? I did. Well, can we make um, something worthwhile here? Yeah, here. I'll just make a whole bunch of planks. And I'll go ahead and give you a bunch of them. Okay, I'm gonna make a crafting bench. Oh, there's already one here. Oh. Right behind you. Right right over, oh, right over yeah. here. Right there. Okay, cool. So what should I what should we do? Like build a little bit out maybe with some wood? Like a dock? Out in this direction? I think I'm gonna do that. Uh well what direction well, so people can go in any direction they want from here, I suppose. Right. They don't have to go to the village if they wanted to go off and build their own home and forage for their own you know stuff Ooh, check it out i got a bench making achievement that's neat nice that's pretty cool it's pretty cool um good job i figured yeah we'll just kind of build this out a little bit more so it's kind of like a floating island maybe that would be cool hmm, let's see how do we how does hmm 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 <laughs> how does one hmm <laughs> I like it. I don't know how... Do I hear the music twice? Oh, I hear the computer. Oh, that's what's going on. There we go. There we go. That's much better. That is much better. So, um... Yeah, the... the have it, Ted, what do you think? Have invite, <laughs> invites been sent out? What's, uh... At, by the time this video is up, I bet uh, invites have been sent out, so... Some of the uh, basement Patreon people have probably already hopped onto the realm, started doing some stuff. Um, our goal with this is that, you know, it'd be the friendliest place on Minecraft servers. So, like, you know, I'm excited about the prospect of having uh, basement dwellers that are ready and willing to work together in a world. Yeah, and, and not, not stealing from each other and blowing each other's stuff up. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know... It, Griefing is a thing, and people find it funny or whatever, but uh, in this specific world, I think it'd be fun if we just didn't grief, you know? More fun that way. I Good mean, grief. I agree. Right. And uh, if you want to grief, maybe you can go off into the distance and grief each other or something like that, but I feel like the main area, since, you know, this isn't going to be like a normal uh, Minecraft server, we don't have like the ability to police it. 
you know, like a real server would have. We um, don't? Well, not like in the same way, you know? Like we can't auto make it so certain areas aren't breakable and like all that kind of stuff, you know? I suppose. It's really very much like... There's universal rules, like we could make it so that people couldn't manipulate blocks or people could manipulate blocks but right. yeah not not like certain areas yeah that's exactly. right that's right dead it's looking pretty cool so far what do you think yeah i like it i like how collaborative it is we didn't even did not even discuss it that is true let's see here what but we did become english somehow yeah somehow like all kind like but Matter Wayne. <laughs> Matter Wayne, Michael Kine. Michael Kine. Matter Wayne. Oh, hello, Mr. Zombie. Would you like to die now? Hey, he's mine. Ha ha. Ha ha. You got some and I got some. Uh, all right, is it sleeping time now? I'd say so. Let's head back to town. So no supplies here. Sorry, guys. That's okay. They'll be able to find some su supplies pretty early on. There's plenty of trees, which is all you really need. That's true. Um, oh, you even planted some. I did. I replanted. You know, I always replant what I supplant. <laughs> That's a good idea. Is supplanting the correct word? I don't even know. I don't know either. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll find oh. it. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, Mr. Spider. All right. Give me a fishing pole's worth of string, please. Thank okay, you. Okay, sir. All right. Spider sounds like Gollum. Not fair! <laughs> he cheated us. <laughs> yeah, see, I can never find our home without finding, without walking through the whole village first. That's why I put that birch there. Oh, here it is. See, I gotta put it coming from the other direction. Yeah, here. Okay, but first I gotta go to bed. Peter's home. Oh, I see him. I see him off in the distance. Uh, hey, hey, get, don't jump on my bed. Get out of here. I'm just going to jump on your face for a minute. Stop okay? it. Get out of here with those big old jumpy feet. <laughs> big old jumping feet. Oh, man. I In love the Minecraft. Yeah, it's a fun game. Minecraft world. Okay. Um, I'm really excited about the being in a realm, though, with the, the, the dwellers. I think that's just going to add like a whole other fun uh, level to this thing, you know? Oh, I got 33 iron ore in there and i know that you will roll your eyes but i'm only gonna put four coal in so that we'll have 32 irons that's totally fine lots of irons in the fire and <laughs> one left over all right well peter what do you think we should do i think we should check out the um maybe some of the things that uh i didn't show so far yet oh to the, yeah okay well that it. and then but also i want to check out that ravine because we okay. do need coal okay Ooh. where are you at Okay, I'm hanging out Okay, here. I see. All right. You look a lot like the white villagers, kind of. Thank you. Hmm. 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 Oh, wait. Am I in the wrong skin? Uh, I don't know. I am. I gotta be the Viking. Okay, why don't you change to the Viking, and I will walk around and show the basement dwellers. So this this here is a triple high villager apartment complex. Um, the, the It is rent controlled, and I am the landlord. And so what I say goes. Um... But yeah, the, the, all these doors allow more villagers to spawn in this village, so that's why we have a whole bunch of these guys walking around. And at certain levels of villagers spawning, also iron golems spawn. So I've created these iron golem pits that we're going to eventually turn into iron golem farms, which will be great because they'll fall into there, it'll uh, turn them into iron, and then that iron, it, like, they'll, they'll die, they'll turn into iron, that iron will get uh, picked up by a... Uh, what are those things called? A hopper? A hopper. And then put into a chest. So we Let's can just check the chest every the once in a while. And we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to just pick up iron, not have to mine it. Or even smelt it. It'll How just great be, would that be? Just tons of iron just coming on and Ooh, um, I just that's got cool. some gunpowder. Um, let's see. We did a little bit of like trail building. Peter put some birch bark here so we could a birch tree there. So that way we could see what's going on. But I, I made the trails a little bit nicer. Over here, I planted some sugar cane. So that way we got paper coming in. That's going to be really helpful for trading as well as making our books for our uh, enchantment table. I also did find the materials to be able to build the, enchant the enchanted table. Over here, we have our delectable carrot farm. Look out for Peter Rabbit. He will eat all of it and become a fatty. Is that me? What? 
No, no, no. no, no. I'm <laughs> talking about the rabbit. Hey, two more you're, string. You're, you're Peter Human. <laughs> oh. Um, and then over here, I've just got like a little bit more of the sugar cane growing, so that way uh, we can just gather more at a time. But my idea with the farm is, you know, we could just like farm everything that's in here right now that's carrots and then go through and replant it. But what I want to do is just make it so all of the carrots are just all grown and then we can just harvest them all at once. Um, that's why I made so many of them at a time so that way we can just let time do its thing and we'll be able to go from there. Good luck though because I'm constantly going to be trying to just make it happen. Really? Is that how you work? I will, I will harvest half of them when only half of them are ready. Well, fine then. It looks like you need a life. <laughs> we need to get you doing bigger projects if you have time to go and do that. So the <laughs> the uh, the thing that we need to do, a couple things we need to do, Peter, uh -huh. and, and soon, I would like to build a hey, nether Hey, what portal. about the ravine? I wanted to go into the ravine. Oh, fine. Well, I, we, we can still go there. We can still go there in this episode. Um, right now I'm fishing, if anyone's wondering. We need to build a nether portal. Uh -huh. We need to go to the nether because we need to get some quartz. That's With true. With some quartz, we're going to be able to do some redstone machinery and that kind of stuff, which is going to be really helpful. You're in charge of that. I think. Um, oh, yeah. I want to learn, yes. though. Please. Oh, yes. That would be so, so much fun. Peter, you'd be great at it. You know how to do computer programming. It's basically just a, a large-scale version of visual computer programming. I know. I'm kind of really um, excited for it, but at the same time, I'm like... As much time as I spend on both of those things, if I combine them, my life will basically come to an end. Your wife will come to an end? No, my or? life. Oh, well, both, probably. Yeah, well, my wife will come to the end of her rope, and then she will cause my life to come to its end. Period. <laughs> when she murders me. <laughs> With a rope! <laughs> Wait, why? Um, oh, end get of the it? rope. Get it? End of the rope. Got it! So, uh, what what are we doing? The ravine, right? The ravine! The ravine! Yeah, I'm, I'm ready! Gonna get, I'm going to offload my paper here, because that's a... I want to make sure that it's not just whatever. I'm going to bring my sword. And you got some torches, just in case? I got 28. Cool. I'm bringing my map along I, with for the ride. I do have some wood. I figure we'll find... Um, yeah, I got some wood, too. We should be good. We'll find coal in the ravine. Sounds like a plan. Do you have a Do you have a pail with you? I've got two. They both Perfect. have water in them. Excellent. Where are you? I'm right behind you. Are you? I don't know where you are, but I'm assuming you're over by the ravine. No. Oh well, let's get over by the ravine. That's why. That's why I'm looking for you, so I can know where the ravine is. Now, like, uh, one way to get down into the ravine would be to just drop water down the edge, and we can just ride the water safely down. So I mean, that's oh look at all that vote. coal you found. Yeah, that would be my vote too. Look at all the coal you found. Did you go past the cow pen? Is that where you were at? Yeah. Past the cow pen, just a little bit further forward. Oh, I see. Oh man, are you sure this is safe? You're the one who wanted to go in here. I mean, I feel like I could fall. Oh, with the water the, thing. Through these corners. No, I'm comfortable with the water. It feels like the fence, where it looks like it's broken, is. Uh, Oh, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I tried to go through them, and I couldn't, so we should, oh. be, we should be good. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, you ready? Uh, yeah, drop a, drop a water bucket down you, the you edge. You got your spot? Hey, maybe this is the right spot for us right here. It sounds good to me. Yeah. You want to make sure that uh, it's basically reached the bottom, and then... So much coal, so much iron. Look! Down. Cool. I mean, this is why ravines are great. I mean, everything is splayed, exposed, splayed out for you to see. Yeah, that's. You don't have to uncover it. You don't have to break the stone in front of it. Ha! Ah, you thought you were gonna jump on that block, but you couldn't because it was gone. That is true. This, Truth. Is this gonna be a lame ravine? Let's see. Which way? Okay, we came down the only spot where there's water. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a, a torch there. I mean, this ravine doesn't go down far enough to get down to diamond level, so we still have a quite a ways to go. Well, it doesn't yet, but maybe it will. Um, hey, uh, one we have a couple ideas for this series, and I'm pretty excited to uh, to do these ideas. Uh, one of them is later on in the series to the beginning of certain episodes hide a chest in somewhere in the wilderness and show you guys the show location, you guys the location but not, but not the, coordinates. the coordinates yeah to see if you guys can f locate it we'll put some goodies in there of things that we've found 
um, that could be helpful to you if you're going around or if you are watching in the comments let's say you're not a patron and you just want to be involved in that you can go ahead and throw out your guesses of where the coordinates might be. Oh, yeah. And that might help some other people to find it. Like if you're like, oh, I saw that exact location in a previous video or whatever, and you can just kind of throw that out there. I don't know how easy or hard that would be. But, I mean, those chests that we put out there, we're going to intentionally not make them, like, impossible to find. Right. We're going to put them by some, like, you know, uh, landmarks. Kind of like the memories in Zelda, <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Yeah. That is going to be so much fun. Uh, I'm really, really excited about that. So what are you finding over there? Hey, there's a piece uh, no, of coal. Nothing just over here. I just, uh, yeah, I probably didn't pick it up. I missed it. Oh, look, the cat is making friends with you again. Of course the cat is making friends with me again. Because you're allergic in the basement. Well, hi. Hello. How are you, sir? I'm just eating a carrot. Cool. Carrots are cool. Oh, it turns into a covered ravine back here. Yes. I threw some torches down kind of where we don't need them yet because I figure if it becomes nighttime will be safer down here than otherwise. So is this a dead end? Uh, yep. So this is a bad ravine. Yep, it's a dumb ravine. Oh, Except there's, man. There's, there's a lava block up there. Yeah. Which, uh, that's cool. Should we do some... Water what do you think? Should we dig down or should yeah, we do yeah. some overworld exploration? I mean, uh, I think what we should do is end this episode, but in next episode... Oh, we man, We should already? attempt to get to the nether, maybe get some quartz block, because it'd be fun to be able to do some redstone stuff with you. And get a couple things going. So until next time, Basement Dwellers, we think that you are traveling up the wrong water spout. Then Just like the itsy bitsy spider after the sun came out and dried up all the rain. In, in the, the basement. basement.